We are learning more tonight about the tens of millions of dollars in extra costs for renovations on the Poff Federal Building in downtown Roanoke. And new at 6 tonight, we have more on why a local lawmaker remains opposed to the project, which became controversial after the dollars kept adding up. This is a story you'll only see tonight on 10 News. Now, a spokesman with the agency overseeing the project says the building is basically ready to go. Most work wrapped up this week and all work should be done soon. Work the last few years has included replacing the brick exterior and upgrading perimeter security and the parking garage. 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is there tonight. And Tommy, we know former Congressman Bob Goodlatte has been critical of this project for a long time. What is he now saying about those renovations? He says that this project and the work here is even farther over budget than the agency maintains. And he says that this building still isn't good enough for the people that work inside. The number of things that have occurred here uh, is just unbelievably bad. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think the people who work in this building uh, will tell you that uh, the improvements don't offset the problems with this building. He says there are still logistical problems, like prisoners walking by the jury room. The now former congressman said before the project started that the government should have sold the building. But I've been told by local architects and engineers here in Roanoke that two new buildings, a new courthouse and a new veterans building, could have been built for half the cost that they're going to ultimately spend on this building. The controversy arrived along with the numbers. The original budget was supposed to top out at $42 million. Today, we know the official total is $30 million over that, $72 million, for major structural repairs, among others. The General Services Administration is the federal agency overseeing the project. Goodlatte says its total of $72 million is low. He says its cost is more than $80 million. The project began under an initiative during the Obama administration to fund, quote, shovel-ready projects. Goodlatte says the POF building should never have qualified for that. It's an outrageous uh, abuse of uh, bureaucratic power. He says the agency hasn't been transparent and only cared at the time about a project that would get construction underway soon. This is an example of a bureaucracy which is based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, could care less about this building in Roanoke, Virginia. There have been two separate federal hearings on the renovation costs, but Goodlatte says he didn't get the answers he wanted during those. He calls the whole project a disaster. A GSA spokesman didn't comment when we asked for a response on Goodlatte's statements. Most people have repeatedly said that this project is on time and within budget. WSLS has been reporting on this building for more than 50 years, going back to the 1960s. This could be the end, at least to this chapter. Live in Roanoke, I'm Tommy Lopez, 10 News, working for you.